after his emphatic Iowa win, Donald Trump was taking a day off campaigning for yet another court appearance. The former U.S. president attended a hearing in New York in a defamation suit brought against him by writer E. Jean Carroll. Trump swept a victory on Monday night by a record margin for an Iowa caucus, hailed by his eldest son. He was good. You know, just you know, spoke to him earlier. He, he's a fighter like we haven't seen before in American politics in that way. I mean, he can take stuff that other people cannot, would not be able to handle. Bad weather meant the turnout in the Midwestern state was unusually low. Though the rest of the candidates were well behind, there was a tight race for second place, with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis edging Trump's former UN ambassador Nikki Haley by 21 percent to 19 percent. Visiting Haley's home state of South Carolina on Tuesday, DeSantis laid out his case for being the main threat to Trump. Um, and you know, Nikki Haley said only the top two from Iowa, you know, go on to be viable. Well, guess what? We punched our ticket out of Iowa yesterday. Look, she was governor here for six years. Can you name major achievements under her tenure? I mean, t tell me if there are, because she hasn't been able to do it. But speaking from New Hampshire, where the first primary takes place next Tuesday, Haley only had her eyes on catching Trump. And so, look. And I'm running again because if you look at the polls in New Hampshire, we're a stone's throw away from him. We got one more fella to catch up to, and we're going to get it done. After Vivek Ramaswamy dropped out of the race on Monday, the fight for second is likely to benefit Trump, hindering both of his rivals in building up strong groundswells of support. The former president remains the hot favourite to get the Republican nomination once again.